Hello, welcome to a Saturday afternoon edition of Mornings with Stanley. Just finally got cleaned up. <laughs> I uh, took the dogs for a walk this morning, didn't row till late, till this afternoon. I just decided I was hungry when I got up. <laughs> so I always like to take my shower before a video. <laughs> so <laughs> I just hung out all day until I worked out. <laughs> Don't know about anything else to say. Been a cold, crisp day, not, but beautiful sunshine. So that's nice. And Lucy's been outside most of the day. Stanley's been inside most of the day because that's how Stanley rolls. At least when I'm home, I'm not sure what he does when I'm not. So he does go out and bark every once in a while. He'll just He'll hear something. I don't know how he hears it. I, well, his ears are a lot better than mine, a lot bigger. <laughs> and he'll just start, jump, go through the dog door, and now he's barking at something. I have no idea what. And Lucy, I looked out the window to see what Lucy was just, she was just, she was just looking at him. <laughs> Evidently, it was not that exciting for Lucy to get up and go bark too. Some things she does get up and bark at, but that was not one of them. Okay, Stanley. Do you want to get down on the ground? Do you want to get down on the ground? No. Want to get down on the ground? Get down, 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 down. No, he's not going to do it. So I have to get rid of him. Okay, Stanley. We're going to do our reading. It won't take long. We are on Saturday of week 39. Life holds together in Christ's way. For though I am absent in body, yet I am with you in spirit, rejoicing to see your good order and the firmness of your faith in Christ. That's Colossians 2.5. These two things go together, good order and the firmness of faith in Christ. It works the other way where there is no firmness of faith in Christ. There is no order. There is disorder. This disorder extends to the body, mind, spirit, and relationships. Some time ago, I met an evangelist who had been a very disordered person a few years before. His eyesight was awry. He tried seven different types of glasses. He was allergic to this, that, and the other. The reason? He had taken his eyes off Jesus and put them on a guru, a spiritual master. He found that his idle feet of clay and the shock was shattering. I pointed out to him that the upset in his eyesight was probably the conversion of, of a spiritual symptom to a physical symptom. He couldn't see spiritually, so he couldn't see physically. He couldn't digest his spiritual disappointment, so he couldn't digest his food. He got his eyes back on Christ again, and now he sees perfectly without glasses and digests everything. And incidentally, the 10,000 disciples of this guru pathetically held to the belief that he would be translated and not die. So they held the body for two days after his death, expecting a miracle. The result was disorder, spiritually and socially. Anything outside Christ will let you down if you let your full weight down on it. Life holds together in Christ's way and goes to pieces in any other way. Firmness of faith in Christ and good order are root and fruit. Loss of faith in Christ and disorder are also root and fruit. Both of them work with an almost mathematical precision. Life works that way. To try to make it work some other way is to face disillusionment. Life works in God's way or it doesn't work. Here's our prayer for today. O oh Lord, my God, my Father, I thank you that life holds together at the center when we, are when we are firmly fixed in your Son. When we are in him, we are in you. We have everything behind us. We are in good order when we are under your orders. Amen. And our affirmation for the day, in Christ, I am in good order. Out of him, I am in disorder. Jesus is Lord.